Welcome back. It's first and ten. We're going to go for Million Catholic taking on Laurelville at Tiger Stadium. Rain prevented this from starting until eight o'clock. The first VC Jonathan Dartez will hand it off to running back, able to pick up the first down. A couple of plays later, Dartez he would fumble on the play. The final score on this one is so our third quarter score. We are tied at twenty ones. All right, Como visiting Notre Dame and Crowley. Parker Faust getting his first start for the Pios and on his first drive, handing to Joseph Quibido, who takes it in from 25 yards out. 7 0 Pios. Second drive, it's Jack Medus. He's going to take it in from about 10 yards out. 14 0 Pios on top. How about the Pios defense? They're shining in this contest. Look here, number two, Eli Grow with the interception, the acrobatic play. And that, well, gave the ball back to the Pio offense in the second half. More Pios. Parker Faust on the quarterback sneak, his first touchdown of the year. Then later in the game, Faust hits Jacob Traha for the score. Pios dominate the Spartans 41 12. Notre Dame now 2 and 1 on the season. Erath, Catholic New Iberia from Panther Field. Erath's Lincoln Romero looking downfield. Can't find anyone. He ends up going down with the sack. Then Erath decides to kick the field goal, is up and good, puts the Bobcats up 11 to nothing in the second quarter. It's third quarter now, 18-17 Catholic New Iberia at last check. Highway 35 rivalry, Rain and Church Point, Wolves on offense. Quarterback Dylan Judice hands it up the middle, and, uh, well, Joseph Emelian takes it to the house. Wolves up three at that point. Check the final score. Rain goes on for the 57-36 win. Westminster Christian Academy, Lafayette taking on St. Edmund in Eunice. Blue Jays getting the board earlier. Quarterback Kane West hits his receiver Blake Moran from the sideline for a big game. Later in that drive, running back Yvonne Johnson takes it for the touchdown. Blue Jays up 7-0. They win 46-6. We're back after this. <laughs> 